the 1080 is back. Good morning, YouTube. What's up, everybody? Hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. So if you've been following this channel since last summer, then you probably know I put a ton of miles into the New Balance 1080 V13 while I was New York City Marathon training. And to be honest, it didn't stop there. I wore this shoe a ton at the end of last year into the beginning of 2024. Uh, it just is the quintessential daily trainer that gives you nice amount of cushioning, but it's not too cushioned like maybe some of the shoes that I've been talking about in my most recent videos. It's just a workhorse and the V13 was my favorite version of this shoe that I had tried. I really think the 1080 is just one of those shoes that gets better and better and better. Well, here we are in 2024 with the V14. And we're gonna talk about today whether I think the 1080 V14 is worth the upgrade. But before we do that, I'm gonna ask that if you are not subscribed to this channel, if you could please go and do so. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can by the end of the year, and obviously every subscription helps. So please, if you haven't already, go and do that. And if one video a week is not enough for you and you'd like to go follow me somewhere else, then go to Instagram at runlikeheller and follow me there. I'm posting more content, shoe related and New York Liberty related a lot of the time, but I am posting more content there. So if you'd like just another place for more material, at Run Like Heller on Instagram. All right, back to the show. During this video, I'm gonna do a lot of comparing to the V13. And again, we're gonna answer the question as to whether or not you should upgrade if you already have the V13. But first, of course, you gotta watch the run footage where I will also have the specs. get started today, I do want to let you know that this shoe was actually sent to me by Believe in the Run and New Balance for that really fun video that we put out. Uh, I think on the day of the release of this shoe, Believe in the Run had a bunch of us participate in a video about the 1080 uh, on their Instagram. So that was really fun. Thank you for the shoe. And now I get to review it. Of course, New Balance is not going to see this video before you. They can't tell me what to say. And all my opinions are my very own as they always are. So starting with the upper of the 1080 V14, New Balance is using an engineered metal. You got a good amount of ventilation through that forefoot that dips into the midfoot a bit. And then in the midfoot, you have a big old New Balance logo that I think helps to just structure that a bit and keep your lockdown more efficient. And if we go to the back, the heel counter is pretty sturdy as well. The laces are pretty standard, thin, stayed tied. The tongue is minimally padded and it is gusseted. And there is a nice amount of cushioning around the ankle collar of the shoe just for that extra protection. There's definitely a couple differences here from the V13. First off, the material just seems different. V13 has a softer, almost like puffier feel and look to it. Uh, even the ankle collar has a bit more cushioning than V14 does. But yeah, like that's how I would describe it. It's just a little bit bulkier and like puffier looking. V14 is a little more sleek, looks perhaps more watered down. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, for one thing, I do think there's definitely more ventilation and breathability in that forefoot, the uh, ventilation holes are larger. And just because the material is different and less like of that 
puffy soft vibe. Uh, I think that air is going to pass through this shoe a lot better and I definitely do feel it while I'm on my runs. Both the upper in V13 and V14 are pretty good and I enjoyed them both. I do think that V14 is a bit more improved. For me the fit and the sizing was pretty much the same in both shoes so I appreciate that they did tweak this did improve it but didn't change or alter the way the shoe really feels on your foot. I had no issues with hot spots, blisters, or irritation in the 1080 V14, so I do really appreciate the changes they made. So now let's chat about the main event, the midsole. Here New Balance is using a big old glob of Fresh Foam X. This is the same amount of Fresh Foam X that is in the 1080 V13, but they did change the geometry of the shoe to give the runner a more rockered experience. And what is a rocker? It basically just helps you to transition from heel to toe more efficiently and uh, into your next ride, perhaps a little bit quicker. I absolutely loved the ride of the 1080 V13. I thought it was perfect for what the 1080 is supposed to be. And then, again, it's just the workhorse of the New Balance line, Fresh Foam line of shoes. It's supposed to be able to take you long, take you moderate distance from anywhere from a moderate to a long, slow, easy day pace. I think one of the critiques I could make about the V13, and perhaps I did make this critique, uh, is that it just felt a little bit flat. And what I mean by flat is that there just didn't feel like there was any desire for the shoe to really get up on your toes. I didn't feel that like rocker sensation as much. Well, clearly I wasn't the only one because here in the V14, they really did uh, fix that or improve upon that. And I would say while the rocker sensation isn't like extreme, uh, I do feel it more than I did feel something like that in the previous version. But I love Fresh Foam X. I always have. Uh, I think it's just such a good foam for your standard daily training runs. Uh, it's everything that I personally enjoy right now for the kind of running that I'm doing. And uh, I can definitely see myself running this shoe into the ground as much as I did the V13. If you're coming at the 1080 and you're not really sure what to expect from Fresh Foam X, it's not like the most exciting foam on the market. Uh, it's not really supposed to be. It's just supposed to be a nice, efficient, comfortable, protective foam that's gonna get you through your mileage that day. Overall, I think that this is basically the 1080 V13 midsole but it just has that rocker improvement that makes it feel that much sweeter. So far, we're two for two. Better upper, better midsole. Now let's talk about the outsole. Now turning the 1080 V14 over and V13, you'll see there is a bit of a difference in terms of traction pattern and where the rubber is placed. I believe there's also more rubber here just to give you some durability, but as you can see, uh, there's rubber around the perimeter and then there's a nice line of rubber in that forefoot, like right in the center. And I think that's obviously for more protection, but also to help that rocker feel a teeny bit more stiff and just help that toe off feel a bit snappier. I do think that this traction is a bit improved over the previous model, the V13. Uh, it just feels like it grips onto the pavement better and I do think that it helps to have a little bit more of it in this case. It's not anything that's gonna be really noticeable, but I think it'll be good to have when you do get up there and mileage in the shoe uh, so that the outsole isn't breaking down quicker than the rest of it. The one thing though that I will say is that I do believe that this shoe is a bit heavier than V13 and I think it has to come down to the outsole just having a little more to it. You're not going to really feel that on the run. Honestly, guys, like I don't feel the shoe on my foot and say, wow, this feels so much heavier than the previous version. It's really not going to matter. So if you want a shoe that you that would probably last a little bit longer, uh, then the extra weight is going to be worth it. And after all, this is a daily trainer. So I mean, it's not like you're gonna be doing your speed work in this and you need a super light shoe. Just some food for thought. The New Balance 1080 V14 is $164.95 on runningwarehouse.com. And I can't quite remember what the V13 retail for when it came out. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. It's a little bit pricey for a daily trainer, yes, I understand, uh, but I do think that this shoe is gonna last quite a long time and give you plenty of miles. Do I think that it is worth getting V14 over V13, which is likely discounted, um, and basically just as good? 
Uh, there definitely are improvements in the V14, but the V13 is a really good shoe. So if you want to save some money, I'd suggest just picking up a discounted 1080 V13. Now, if you have the V13 already and you're in the market to buy a new shoe, like maybe this one's worn down and you need a new pair, then yeah, I'd say it's worth it. Give the 1080 V14 a try um, if you're willing to just spend a couple extra bucks and uh, see what it's all about because I do think the changes they made here are pretty good. If you're interested in picking up either the 1080 V14 or the 1080 V13, I will put links in the description of this video. You can click either of those links and pick up your own pair. Just keep in mind, these will be affiliate links with Running Warehouse. Doesn't mean much for you. It just helps out my channel so I can keep making these videos and hopefully, helping you to figure out what shoe you want to get. What do you guys think? Do you have the 1080 V13 and love it? Are you going to try V14? Have you tried V14? What do you think about it? Let me know all your thoughts and comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about these shoes. Well, everyone, that concludes this video on the New Balance 1080 V14. If you enjoyed it, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell so you can find out every time I upload a new video. Now, this might be controversial, but when it comes to looks of these two shoes, I kind of like the way V13 looks better. The colorway here I like better and almost the puffiness of the upper. I kind of dig the vibe. This is looking a little bleh to me, but it might just be the color. I have another video for you next week, but in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like heller. See you next time. Hello. Is this your new spot when I film? Right here? This is it, huh? Okay.